on, everybody. Here we go. Up to Neverland. Hello, hello, everyone. So this is my huge build, Neverland, Michael Jackson's famous um, theme park ranch, and his famous uh, and his well favorite house. This was a huge build by me. It took um, a number of days just planning it out on graph paper, which I had to actually make myself because the graph paper I had was not large enough to plan out the entire property. So uh, during this video, you're going to notice that there's some things that are just missing. Unfortunately, this build took way too long to actually show the entire thing in one uh, video on YouTube. So I had to cut some stuff out. But the main stuff is here, the building of all of the buildings is here, and uh, designing the interiors is all there as well. This build was um, extremely hard to do due to the fact that everyone has a vision of what Neverland looks like, because it's as easy to just go and Google it to see what Neverland looks like. So I had to find some pictures of the house. This how this piece right here is the main house and it looks exactly the same as the one that's in Neverland that Michael Jackson would have stayed at. I had to build the train station which everyone knows what that looks like as well thanks to Google. It is also on this property. You'll see me build it in a little bit here. And there's a big pond that's going to be back here. There will be a little castle, not very big though, but there will be a little castle and there'll be three pads um, that just sort of have brick on them where rides could be. Um, I didn't build rides in because as you know with the Sims they don't really allow you to build rides. There's a tennis court. First time ever building a tennis court in the Sims and for anyone wanting to know the Sims cannot play tennis on it. I'm sorry they could stand there but they can't really play tennis. It's pretty much just like a patio. Big pool in the backyard. Here is the sort of walkway that goes around the pond. You'll see the pond being built in a little bit here. And this is the big pad that goes in front of the train station. And this one heads off to where the theme park area would be. Here's one pad where the merry-go-round would go. Another one where, I don't know, make it up something can go. And another pad where another thing can go. And inside here, just build it in. Put a nice big tree in the middle. So it looks kind of cool. And here is the little castle. As I said, it's very little. <laughs> and it's not really like a castle. It just kind of has one turrety thing. But whatever. It's a castle. Now we're going to start construction on the train station here. This was another big one. And in my original plans, the stairs in front of the train station would look more like the actual ones in the game, or not the game, sorry, in actual Neverland, Neverland but uh, because I ran out of space, uh, I couldn't put them in. As you can see, that back part of the train station is right against that vertical wall of rock, um, and that vertical wall of rock is pretty much the end of my property, so I squished everything into here. So we're going to add, what are we adding here? Oh, we're just doing some landscaping right now. And now we're going to start building the big pond in the backyard. And I actually cut some parts of the pond making out because I had some problems getting it to uh, stay that level. Flattening the train all around the property and in front of the main house here. Putting some stonework, masonry, on the train station here and there's a roof just kind of poofed in. Uh, the roofs are very complex on this property due to the fact that the train station has a different height roof than the main house so if you download this house, this property, um, I recommend not touching the roof slider because it will throw your entire roof, all the roofs out of whack and it will no longer look like it is when this entire thing will be done so, because I had to use a cheat to get the uh, roofs to look proper, so if you mess around with the little slidery thing, it'll go all wacky. So let's add some shrubs here in front. Notice there is not enough room, unfortunately, to build the clock. 
Uh, I did build an entire test piece of the clock, and it looked great, but you just can't force a clock to go in that much space. So another thing I had to cut out that I really wanted to put in, but I couldn't due to the fact that the lot was too small. Now this lot is the largest lot that is in The Sims 3 right now. It is a 64 by 64 lot. It was originally a community lot. It is a park um, out in the middle of sort of like the hills. So I turned it into a residential lot and I started building this on it. I flattened all the terrain, got rid of the big pond that used to be on it, and this is what you're left with. And I turned it into Neverland. So now it's kind of like a ranch, just like Michael Jackson's. It's out in the middle of the hills, away from Sunset Valley, but still fully accessible. The front on, or the main gate of the property as well, took me a long time, that's why there's actually no video of me creating it. It took me about an hour to create. Again, I had to use cheats to get it to arch. And um, so, yeah, it took a while. But I figured, you know, it would look really nice when it's done. I think it does. And, uh, you know, that's how I think of it. Notice that there's now, um, there's a roof on the main house. And it is, as you can see, much steeper than the one on the train station, so because I use cheats and there's nothing wrong with you using cheats I'm sure everyone has used m mother load at least once in their sim life because it's pretty much impossible not to use it here we go we're laying out the plans of the main house now I don't show you uh, laying out plans of the upstairs because I ran out of time on YouTube unfortunately they only let me build or upload 10 minute long videos so I kind of had to cut some stuff out. That's the dining room, the main dining room, and the main living room there with the fireplace. Right above the living room is the master bedroom, Michael Jackson's bedroom. It has a huge walk-in closet. It has a workout room and a. it also has a balcony overlooking the tennis court. So it's a pretty big master bedroom. And next we're going to go into the kitchen here. I believe if I'm correct. Uh, yes, here we go. Adding the kitchen in. So the kitchen is, uh, it looks like the one in Michael Jackson's ranch, obviously, because I designed. It took me so long, I looked for at least two days on pictures online and I watched videos. Uh, luckily, CNN, unfortunately, when Michael Jackson died, got to go into the ranch and take video so I watched those videos a few times over to make sure everything looked just perfect and here we go the final product Neverland there it is as you can see the main house train station rides here's the front of the main house there's a few cars in front of it now then there's the train station here Overview of the house, there's a little castle in the background. Tennis court, house, everything. There's a little castle. Night and day shot, or day and night, sorry. As you can see here, here's the train station at night. As you can see, there are tracks by the train station. I would like to say, um, please don't download my content that I upload to The Sims 3 and re-upload it yourself don't do that to anyone it's just uh, plagiarism which isn't cool <laughs> I would like to uh, thank you for watching this video today and you can download this lot um, on the exchange link in the sidebar see you later guys